starting off in Kinross, we'll pass through the village of Milnathort, heading up the path of Condy, all the way up, ending up in our final destination in the town of Dunning. And welcome to this next Scottish Suron review does Long Way Up Path of Condy. Now if you've seen my previous vlogs on the Triumph Trekker GT e-bike uh, you'll notice that I've done the same route on that bike but this time I've got the luxury of not having to do any pedalling and the other reason I'm doing this route is because there's a part of this route that has a very steep slope and a sharp curve and there's no way I would attempt that on a conventional motorbike because I would just drop it. So one of the reasons of getting this lovely Suron is so that I can have the pleasure of going around that bend on this bike um, and I'll be recording it as well for your entertainment. Now while we're on route to the location. I'm going to just chat about a few things regarding the Suron which I've not mentioned on the previous vlogs. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is the sport mode on this bike. Now I learned very quickly how to use sport mode and if you've not used sport mode before please listen to this advice. Because this bike is so torquey. The technique to using sport mode is when you're on the road and you have a vehicle behind you. Before you press that sport button you must release on the throttle, then press the sport button, then hit the throttle and you'll have a smooth transition from eco mode to sport mode. Uh, I made the mistake of not doing that. I I think I hit the sport mode while I was still turning the throttle and I just about came off the bike or rather the bike just about nearly left me. There's a handy tip for you folks on using sport mode. Always de-throttle first and uh, then press that button. Uh, when you're coming off sport mode I, I don't really think it matters you just I just de-throttle and press the button again so that I'm back into eco mode. So I have experienced the sport mode. I'm not sure if I'll be using it to date because I want to conserve battery power. Most of this route is uphill all the way and it's going to be interesting to see how far I'll get. I'm certainly going to turn around when we get to the 50% the battery mark. The other thing I want to talk about is charging. Now, I couldn't not find this in the little manual, but um, when you are releasing the square plug, and I'll insert a shot to illustrate this, you must push the little tab in, otherwise that plug will not release. So just remember, there's a little tab there that you push in, then you can take that plug out. And one final thing I just want to talk about is actually insurance because I'm riding the road legal version and I was quite amazed at just how low my insurance. I have in the UK what's called third party fire and theft so rather than give you figures because I know some of you are in different parts of the world and you've got different currency systems but the insurance for this Suron is so low that it's cheaper than the insurance for my Triumph Trekker GT e-bike which has pedals. Plus with my insurance policy I get breakdown recovery so I, I don't have range anxiety really if, if I did run out of power. I can actually phone for help to get picked up. But of course I would never allow myself to get into that situation anyway. But it, it's nice to, to have that uh, that 
closing the, the policy there as just as a little added security. Now apologies if you're getting a lot of wind blast today here in Scotland it's really hard to get a nice blue sky when it's not windy and if I was to wait for a day like that I could be waiting for a very long time and never get anything recorded so I'm just going to go with it and shoot shoot the vlog now while I have the chance and this is an amazing route for cycling and the the Suron it's a nice sh small road lots of twisties join me in a bit when I uh, when we get to the the interesting part, the one part of the route that I really want to demonstrate on video. I think I've got lost already. I have stupidly not taken the turn off for Path of Condé like I should have. I've now ended up in a little town or village called Glenfarg, so I'm now going to have to get back onto the Path of Condé from here. And I've, I've wasted a lot of battery power and mileage. So I'm now down to about 85%, so I'll just have to try and gauge it because I really do want to get to the twisty part of the road that I that I've that I wanted to, to reach. So I'm not going to give up just yet. I'm gonna carry on, see if I can get back onto the path of Conde. If not, I'll just have to reshoot another day after I've charged up. Anyway, it's all about adventure. Motorcycling's all about adventure, and as I'm sure uh, you'll have seen on other motorbike documentaries when people go on bikes they don't always get to the destination they wanted to get to it's all but it's all adventure it's all fun anyway it's all part of the challenge so let's carry on see if I can get back onto the path of Condé and see if I can wrap this up Well folks, I've decided that with 76% power, I really don't want to attempt to do Path the Condé just yet. And plus there's some rain clouds looming over. I'm just going to head back, clean the bike up because it's a bit dirty, recharge battery and make another attempt and this next time when I get to the path of Condi turn off I will just simply ignore any screen memories telling me that I should continue on. A little bit disappointing I may not get another dry day for a while but uh, if you can just be patient with me and I'm sure as bikers you'll understand this happens all the time you get a silly idea and go off on the on go off on a tangent but this is a nice little road it's worth going down this is going to take me back into Milnathorpe so join me when we go for take two of the Scottish Suron does long way up path of Condé eventually Welcome to day two 
I have been blessed with a glorious blue sky so great for the old continuity there and I'm really enjoying being out on these back roads they're just amazing I feel like I'm really am in the middle of nowhere but only a few miles from home and I am NOT going to let any screen memories take me off track I think we're coming up to the path of Condi sign here so I'm going to be turning left this time so that I can take you to that fantastic steep slope, twisty steep slope that's going to be the highlight of this video and the reason I got this Suron so that I can do this there we are turn left this time, excellent keep going, keep going Just pausing here, just before we go down this hill, We've a we're actually really close to the final uh, highlights of this video, which is the steep, twisty, turny slope. So we're going to go downhill all the way, which will be good for regen braking. A bee checking out the light bee. Hello bee! Hello! I like the orange colour, that's what it is. Maybe thinks it's a plant. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Got a little bee checking out my light bee. Bye bye bee. This is the greatest Thirty miles an hour, it feels a lot faster. There we go. And here we go highlight of the video folks here we go up this twisty turny hill here we go and I as I say I would not have attempted this on a conventional motorbike because the steepness and the sharp bends here we go oh this is good fun here we go oh look at this no problem on the Suron here's the bend here's the highlight of the video folks Here we go, here we go, you can see, oh fantastic, that was it folks, that was the highlight. Now if I was to film any cars or bikes coming down there you'd see them all slowing right down for the obvious reasons. reasons. So let's go back down, let's go back down, got to go down, oh here's a biker, he's made it. They made it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna have to break, I'm not that brave. And we go. Oh, fantastic. I'm sure there's a lot of you who would go a lot faster than me on that twisty there, but oh, just. I just want to enjoy the experience at my own pace. Let's slow down here in case there's any other bikers coming. Nope. So that was that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, that was good.
We are now approaching the town of Dunning, or village of Dunning. Look at this amazing landscape and how high up we are. And it's going to be downhill all the way, so we'll get a bit of gener regenerative braking in there. Always helps. And I'm about 60 something percent, so I'm very happy with that. I seem to remember this bit of gravel on this bend here when I did this on the Trekker GT. But I've got the luxury of not needing to pedal. Just really enjoying this this ride. Yeah, there's the gravel. It's still there. And Dunning is down there somewhere. Oh, what a glorious day. To me, getting the Suron is actually all about the filming rather than the bike. I like It allows me to be creative. The only thing is I will be limited because I don't have a 4x4 or a, or a trailer. Um, it means I can't go everywhere. But I may meet the fellow Suronster who's got that, those facilities, that resource, and might take me um, to some amazing places to make more videos. I still have a few more routes up my sleeve, of course. But I'm just grateful to get dry weather and the bonus of a blue sky. Oh, this is fantastic. Watch out for the gravel. See it? There we are. Fantastic. Oh, more downhill. Didn't realise how down, how much downhill there was, there is to go. Now, this is definitely coming into Dunning now. Maybe we should put the brakes a little bit. There we are. Oh, here we are. We've arrived. Welcome to Dunning. Made it. Awesome. Of course, you'll see this place in my Triumph Trekker GT vlog that I did a couple of years ago. It's a lovely little town. Very quaint. Nice church. Little monument there. I think that's about it, really. Just stop for a, maybe a little photo shoot. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this Scottish Suron review does long way up Path of Condé. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button and I will be bringing you more adventures on the Scottish Suron review. Bye for now.